Hey, what's up, folks? This is my 264th unboxing. Uh, I just did an unboxing previously with from the same seller as I'm about to do right now. Um, he has a power seller on eBay, and I got like some like 25 or 30 Blu-rays off the guy. So please check that unboxing out. This is a very normal size box, but uh, not as big and it's kind of emasculating the previous box, but whatever. I want to say thanks to all my subscribers and all the people that don't subscribe. You know, that's cool too, but feel free to subscribe to me. I'll subscribe back to you, okay? Oh, yeah, this shipped from Spring Valley, California to South Bend, Indiana. So how you doing? All right, we got Mama Mia. Here I go again. My my, I'm gonna uh, I enjoyed this movie. My grandma's enjoyed this movie. DVD and Blu-ray with cool little packets and stuff in here. Inserts. It's nice when people do that, you know. Digital copy. Throw in some stuff. You know, yeah. Raise the roof for Mama Mia. Abba, disco's not dead, baby. Here's Mama Mia. I enjoyed this film. I just, you know, it was a good movie. Great musical, whatever you want to call it. Um, good luck, Chuck. Uh, fun movie when I was in the Dane Cook uh, love period. Dane Cook, Jessica Alba, Dan Fogler, who is a Tony Award winning actor um, for the 25th annual Miss Putnam's Spelling Bee or whatever. Um, which I saw at the touring cast of, and he's on that, um, the White House show on NBC, I can't remember the real name of it. Anyway, basically, um, uh, uh, he's got, he's cursed with women or something like that, and he meets the girl of his dreams. This is Chucked Up, the unrated edition. I want to say that's one of the first Blu-rays that came out. Hot Fuzz, love this movie, haven't seen it in a couple of years since, well, since it was in the theater, same with Good Luck Chuck and Mamma Mia to be honest, but um, I really enjoyed this film, um, love the Bad Boys 2 references, I love his Blu-ray collection that he had when Blu-rays just came out, when you're rich you can afford Blu-rays when they come out, otherwise you have to wait like me and buy them used on eBay, but love this movie, this is probably the French edition. I like how the French guy is super freak. Super freak. To all my French Canadian friends, I apologize for that terrible accent. We got Run, Fat Boy Run, which as you can see is another Simon Pegg movie. This one has the lovely Andy Newton and Hank Azaria. Who, Google Hank Azaria, man. He's on The Simpsons. Uh, phenomenal actor. Um, haven't seen this in a while either, but I really enjoyed it. Working at the theater for this movie. He's nationally erectile dysfunction awareness. <laughs> the happening. Oh yeah, I know there's some oohs and ahs here. Um, I was. I really enjoyed the first part of the film, but it got boring, and I was. I don't know. Uh, the the end of it is there's some really hokey, terrible moments in the film, like. I'm going to rewatch this. I'm going to give it another chance. John Leguizamo gives a tear-jerking performance. Zoe Deschanel is beautiful and phenomenal. Mark Wahlberg tries his best to get his stone on. But it's something like, uh, what I remember, there's a news thing, and the lady's like, they're dead. They are all dead. Something like that. There's some terrible delivery. Surveillance. Really weird film. Um... There is a big twist at the end of the film. I'm just like, what? I got this cheap enough. I'm going to give it another chance. Julie Ormond, Bill Pullman, Pell James. Big twist at the end. And they all, what do you think? Do you think The Happening had a twist? Let me know what you think. 30 Days of Night, Dark Days. This is actually one of the better sequels out. Um, I enjoyed this when I saw it. Love 30 Days of Night. Loved it.
Ah, it's missing the DVD. Damn it. Last, but most certainly not least, Punisher Warzone. Uh, I think I got this a couple videos ago, but, you know, it happens. I'll just try and sell this. I think this is the... I don't know. But, this is a classic action murder movie. Brutally violent. I mean, super duper violent. If you want to see that, it's like Robocop in 2008. I mean, yeah, I was right. Um, if you want to see a brutal movie, this really does not connect whatsoever except for the cool skull and murdering with the 2004 Tom Jane one or the 84 Dolph Lundgren one, 88, um, which are all both awesome. But this is its own entity. This is just a murder crazy movie. Um, so we got Punisher War Zone, doubled it. 30 Days a Night. Surveillance. Happening. Run, bat boy, run. Hot fuzz. Good luck, Chuck. And Mama Mia. Appreciate everyone watching my videos. I really, really do that. I know a lot of people say that. So I'm going to say it as well. I'm just kidding. I really do appreciate it. Please hit the subscribe button. I will subscribe right back to you. Leave a comment. I'll comment right back to you. Leave a video response, and I'll... I'll comment on that video response. Yeah. There's my scissors. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, and uh, want me to check out your videos? I will. Have a great day.